Welcome to Integrated Systems Europe 2025 here in Barcelona, the world-renowned annual tech show for the systems integration and audio-visual industry. Well, we're here at the Brainstorm stand uh, with Miguel now from uh, Brainstorm, obviously. And Miguel, my goodness, quite a, quite a background and quite a stand. Yeah, we're fortunate to be in partnership with Alpha Light here, this a new European LED screen manufacturer. I think they're the only ones in Europe that manufacture LED screens. And uh, they provide us with this amazing background. We have a 7 meter wide LED screen in which we can put our virtual reality background to showcase how we can create such immersive experience with a compact and easy to use setup. And how long has Brainstorm been in existence? Well, actually, Brainstorm is a 30-year-old company. Wow. We've been in the business since 1993. We started doing real-time graphics, and then we moved to virtual reality, virtual sets, and all kind of uh, extended mixture realities that uh, we can see in broadcast and film, and now incorporate uh, presentations, as we can see here in the, at ISC. It's amazing, the application now for all of this technology, and it's so exciting to see it all at the ISC. What exactly are you showcasing here? Well, we're showcasing uh, Infinity Set and also introducing Infinity Set Live. But in this case, what you look at here is Infinity Set. Infinity Set is our flagship product, and it can do mostly everything regarding virtual reality for broadcast and film, and also for lower-end environments. It's like in lower-end, so we don't have, need a huge uh, LED screen or chroma screen with huge cameras and so on to make sure that we have an excellent output. So in this case, um, we can see how we are creating an unreal engine environment that can move accordingly with the camera and we're using just two PTZ cameras to, to deal with this environment. So it's, it's so incredible when you actually stand there and you see how you know, little equipment you need to achieve something that looks so fantastic. That's the magic of it. I mean, we take the signal from the camera with the tracking information, we output in, uh, that to our software, and then we create the world we're in. So you go to one place or another, the camera moves, the software creates the reality, we mix things up, we can put augmented reality on top of us, create data-driven graphics that insert more realities into that. So it's pretty amazing. We used to see that in broadcast, but it's not quite common in corporate presentations and corporate environments as we can see here. So we're seeing that more and more though, you can really elevate your corporate event with this technology. Absolutely, because corporate events are not just constrained to small spaces, they can be worldwide events. Some companies need to gather people from all over the place and sometimes it's easier, more cost effective or more impressive for the rest of people to just receive a stream with such a good environment and all the information coming in rather than send people over and present a typical presentation. So this enhances storytelling, not also for broadcast, but also for corporations. I'm actually blown away by the potential, but tell me what you've been so impressed with, any of the customers, any of the backgrounds, any of the worlds that they've created. Well, actually, we're as good as our customers are in terms of creativity. We provide the tools, but it's their minds, their creativity, and their their thinking of where should we go to, to what, what makes this absolutely amazing. When companies such as uh, an insurance company that may be boring but creates a virtual world and, and sends their uh, speech, uh, their, their talents through a history or something, it's just amazing. And we cannot think about that. We just provide the tools. That's, that's the beauty of it. It really is. It, it's magical. Now, it's day one of ISE. What yes. kind of interest have you had already? Well, it's been a busy show, which is great. And uh, what we see is that, as we were mentioning trends, this is a trend in corporations, this is a trend in pro-AV stuff, and as the technology gets more democratized, it's easier to see how uh, people comes by and believes that they can use this technology for a number of applications that some years ago were almost impossible. It really does require a great imagination, and then who knows where you might be standing one day. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. I mean, it's imagination what drives the storytelling in this case. And having the possibility of using virtual worlds where you can explore your imagination further, I think makes, this, makes things like much more magical. You have a great name for your company indeed. It's very fitting, Brainstorm. But what are you brainstorming now? Where are you going next? We, we want to explore this trend and spreading our technology in different, in different markets, different applications. 
but we are also thinking of new things to deliver and provide more tools for these creative minds to work with. Remember, you have to get some sleep as well. You're thinking all the time. Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping's cheating. Uh, Miguel, great to see you at the ISE. Have a great rest of the show. Thank you, Sarah.